Hi everyone. We just realized that we haven't been crafting anything in quite a long time. So today we're going to make some cool stuff out of simple objects. But our creations won't be simple at all. If you do it right, you're going to get some really functional toys which can be used more than once. Besides, it's a nice way to show off in front of your friends and prove to your parents that you're not a couch potato but an engineer potato instead. So, are you ready to start? Of course you are, what a stupid question. Here are three cool handmade items, let's get it on. Blaster Let's start with a gun, which isn't very serious but it's still a weapon. In order to make it, we need these soft bullets, a lighter, a nail, a tic-tac box, a pair of nippers, a box cutter, some plastic tubes, a cologne or a perfume, and our beloved silicon gun, which is essential for this job. First, you have to make two holes in the tic-tac box. Take the nail, using not your hands but the nippers. Heat the nail with the lighter and hold it for a while for the iron to really heat up. Now make two holes in the box with the nail. One at the bottom and the other in the part of the lid that covers the exit. Take the lighter and check one more time if it's working. This is really important because you need the element that makes the lighter fire up. Using the box cutter, disassemble the lighter and take out the piezoelectric element and bend back the thin cable. This will be the trigger mechanism for your future blaster. Now place this construction into the hole at the bottom of the box and pour hot glue on it. Take the plastic tube, pass it through the hole in the lid, glue it, and cut the tube, leaving little less than a half. Now you only have to make a handle for the blaster. Spread glue on one side of the box, closer to the bottom, and glue the lighter to it. It has to stick immediately, and that's all. It's time to pour in a little fuel. Use the box cutter to cut the label under the lid to take it off easily. Then add some cologne into the box and close it. Place the bullet on the plastic tube of the gadget and shake the mini tank with fuel. The weapon is ready to fire. The only thing missing is a target. Plastic cups will be great for this. You can make a multi-level barricade and then step aside. Okay, now aim. One, two, three, bang. You add a cool, almost real blaster in miniature. Foosball. Now we're gonna show you how to make a miniature version of this exciting toy. You've probably played table football before. And now we'll teach you how to make one with your own hands. You'll need a shoebox, a ruler, a pencil, a marker, wooden sticks, a tic-tac box, a box cutter, a little net, some clothes pins, duct tape, a silicon gun, some plasticine of different colors, aluminium foil and push pins. Rip off the lid of the shoebox if it has one. Turn the box to one side, measure off a couple of inches and draw a line with the pencil along the box. Do the same on the other side. Now take six wooden sticks and use them to divide the two opposite sides of the box in equal parts. With the marker, draw some marks in the places where the pencil line and the wooden sticks cross. Now pierce these places, then place the sticks into it. They had to pass through the box and stick out on the two opposite sides. Now we need to make the goal. We're going to use the tic-tac box as a stencil. Use it on the small sides of the box to outline the goal and cut off the outlined part. Now it's time to put the net on. <laughs> 
cut the pre-arranged piece of net in two parts. Put it on the holes in the box and fix it with duct tape. Well, the field is ready, but where are the players? The clothes pins will play this part. We will need 12 of them. Put them on the wooden sticks like on the screen. Now you have to dress the players to make two different teams, and we'll use plasticine for this. Make 12 balls of two different colours and put them on the heads of the players. Ah, and we almost forgot about the ball. Just crumple the aluminium foil into a ball. Throw it into a box and start playing. In order to keep score, just take push pins and pierce them into the box, somewhere on the side. After each goal, take one. Tattoo machine. Okay, now it's time for something extremely unusual. We're going to make a tattoo machine. Can you imagine that? Yes, a tattoo machine. Not a real one, of course, but it will work almost like a real tattoo machine. For this, we need a marker, a glue gun, two cloth pins, a plastic cap, a box cutter, a safety pin, a lighter, a motor with two cables from a remote control toy, a plastic tube, a 9 volt battery, a cable with isolation, paper clips, a gel based pen, duct tape, a switch, and last but not least, your attention. Well, let's start. First, take the marker and two pins. Use the glue gun to glue one pin to the non-writing end and the other pin to the side of the marker. Then cut a circle from the plastic cap using the box cutter. Heat the safety pin and make a hole in the center of this circle. Now place the plastic circle on the motor and fix it with hot glue. Take the plastic straw and put it on one of the pins, like in the video. It has to be a big straw so that the pen would fit in it. Then connect the battery in the motor, just like we're showing you, using only one of the cables for now. Now take the third cable, which is free, and connect it to the free contact element of the battery. The result has to look like this. The motor has one free cable, the battery two, and when you connect them, the circle on the motor rotates. Does it work? Great, then let's move on. Now glue the motor to the pin, and the battery to the marker. Then unbend one part of the paper clip like this and put it to the non-writing end of the pen using duct tape. You have to heat up the safety pin against and make a hole in the same plastic circle. Now cut off a part of the straw and place the pen inside it, leaving the paper clip in the same side as the motor. Okay, we're nearly there. Take the switch button, put the free cables in it, one from the motor and the other from the battery, and glue all this construction to the marker. That's it. You only have to place the clip into the hole of the plastic circle. To check out if it works, try to draw some doodles on your arm. Put the machine to your skin and press the button. Does it work? We think it's a real handmade masterpiece. Amazing gadgets, upcoming technologies, incredible inventions and other cool stuff related to high tech on TechZen. Subscribe, you won't regret it. The link is on the screen and in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.